It's the end of the week, a Wong Fu week. It's Wong Fu weekends. Hey everyone, we got a very special Wong Fu Weekends today. I know you guys have been giving us a lot of cool suggestions of what to do for Wong Fu Weekends over on our Facebook page. And the one that everyone keeps saying is, Cookie, you guys gotta have a cooking show, you guys gotta have a cooking competition or something. Cook off. A cook off, cook off, yeah. And we're like, alright, let's 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 do it. So today we're going to be having a cook off between the three of us. It's gonna be like Iron Chef style though, because it's gonna be one main ingredient or type of dish that we have to make and it's just going to be our own variations of it. And that special ingredient is... That's right, ramen. The dried noodles with the seasoning packets that all you high school or college kids know. Or young adults, working professionals, and grandparents, parents, aunts, aunties, grandpas. Everyone eats ramen. That's true, everyone does eat ramen. You guys, you, everyone knows those little packets that you get at the store. We decided to use this as our dish because everyone has made it, everyone sort of knows how to make it, but we have our own twists, our own flavors of how to make it, how to prepare it. And so we're all each going to make it, and at the end, we're going to let you decide which one you guys like. Alright, so just like the Iron Chef show, we got a bunch of uh, various ramens to choose from, so it's up to each individual chef to choose the ingredients that he wants. There's a lot of different flavors, like chicken flavor, exo sauce, no flavor. I'm gonna go for the pork flavor because the type of ramen that I'm gonna make today is gonna actually have pork in it, so. You like your mama? I do, I love my mama. Let's go. First thing to do is prep. We gotta prep everything. We got the oil that it comes with and the flavor packets. Whenever you're cooking pasta, any kind of noodles, you always wanna salt the water. So that, cause I'm cooking, this is what the noodles are gonna cook in, you know? You should shake it like a salt shaker. Yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna use like basically all of the green onions I bought. All right, so I'm gonna cut off the ends. Just start cutting these up. So I'm going to throw the ramen in right now. I like some people put the water and the ramen in at the same time, but I like to wait till it's already boiled. All right, to be honest, I don't really know what I'm doing. What? It's too much. Oh, that's way overdone. You don't know. I actually like it al dente. Then that's all wrong, because you should take it out like right now. Then. Yeah, it's done. Because it's going to keep cooking in the hot water. So yeah, see, this is hardcore. Most some people like when it's done like this, they just throw the the seasoning packet in and they're done. No, you gotta cook the noodles in separate water. Perfect. Draining. Perfect. Even better than mama. You gotta stop the stop it from cooking. So you gotta cold water right now. Cool it down. Stop the cooking process. So the noodles are ready. I want to add some ground pork. Half a pound of meat. Oh, I should have washed my hands. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Garlic, some of the finely, finely chopped green onions. I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't, don't know worry. what I'm doing. Mama, but, it but it smells delish. Salt it up. And I'm not mad at that. Oh, shoot. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm attacking you with my oil. It just sabotaged me. Burn my elbow. So let's start putting this in. You have to use the packets, you know. It's part of the part of the process. Um, no, I'm okay. So I gotta massage the egg first. Gotta kiss it. I like to break it up because actually, um, I think it's better when it's like more flowy. So you have broth, uh, meat, and your ramen. Yep. Trifecta. Look at this wonderful broth. We'll put some of our pork on here. So here you go, Phillips. Ground pork, green onion, garlic, sesame, phantasmical, delicioso ramen. Uh, my first look at these. Ramen is, is great because it's a, it's a staple of uh, a lot of Young people's meals. We got hot, spicy beef, spicy seafood. You like seafood? I do. What's gonna match with your dish the most? Technically, I could use all these and they'd all be wonderful. 
I really don't know what to do. Oh my gosh, this is the kind of cook you are. <laughs> just like, you just look at the food. You know what? Uh, when I can't decide on things, I just, I just use one tactic. Go, the, go with the one that has the best packaging. Okay. All right, he's made his decision. All right, I'm gonna go with uh, Nyoguri uh, spicy seafood. All right, let's go. Let's get one thing straight. Ramen is ramen. You don't need to hype it up into something bigger than it is. Um, it's, it's fast, it tastes good, and it gets the job done. Ramen is all about the broth, actually. You know, mm -hmm. classical ramen, that's how it is. Yes. But we don't have the materials to do that right now. Oh my gosh. But what I'm going to show you guys is something very practical. So you can actually take this to your own kitchen to make. It's, it's more about practicality and efficiency and the least amount of work for the best result. On board, I'm going to use one set of chopsticks and one pan. What I like to do is you open it and just kind of admire it for a little bit. Just uh, think about all the possibilities. Let it marinate and then go. So I, I have an idea. Got it. Just add water. Uh, no. You guys aren't ready for this yet. I washed the vegetables. Of course. Okay. Okay. A handful of greens. You don't need a strainer because you just do this. It's done. Put it here. All right. Pound it. See how my old packaging, my old packaging became the place for garbage. Everything is recyclable. Fish balls. All right, so how I like to gauge when it's ready for the um, seasoning is when it starts to break up on its own. And then you just help it out. And I like to add this type of MSG, soup base, whatever, add it now so that it soaks into the actual uh, noodle. All right, so I emptied the ramen into our presentation bowl. Um, I didn't add this last one yet, the vegetable mix. It's, it's dehydrated, so what I do is I like to add it to the, the dry noodle like that, and then I let the remaining moisture of it, I let that cook the uh, dehydrated vegetables. I didn't empty the broth yet, because we're gonna use this to cook our fish balls. So you take one of each, this crazy looking thing, this uh, uh, other um, colorful explosion, a uh, piece of tofu, pink one, uh, <laughs> other, and yeah. <laughs> Isn't it great when your chef knows what ingredients and food he's giving you? <laughs> so you notice how Phil, he just cut off the ends of this and threw all those away? It's actually for sanitary purposes. Yeah, well, I go straight to the valuable part, this part right here. Notice how we have Two onion heads. I'm gonna start with here because I'm only gonna use about that much. You know, I don't like the spiky hair. Two, one big. One big. Except for these ones. Are you impressed? It's just cutting stuff. Uh, my sleep. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Almost there. These are ready. I thought it was They're right. delicious. So, using the same single pan that we started with. Okay, vegetables. In. Ah! <laughs> Stay back. All right, so I don't have a name for this. Um, I just know that it tastes really good. There's a lot of different things to choose from, which I like. When I eat, I like to have a variety of things. All right, Ted, you're up. All right, so it's my turn to choose and make my ramen. But let's be practical here. We're making ramen, right? It's the stuff you eat in college or you don't have any food at home, so you eat ramen. All of this is good, it's nice and pretty, but I've heard this one is three, four dollars. So this is th like 33 cents right here. 33.33333. So let's go. So I would start with a pot <laughs> and you go over here, you go to the sink and you just, eh, 
You just add some water. You need a little bit more than that. Huh? Enough so the, the, the ramen floats. And then you would turn on the stove. You need your next ingredient. What is that? <laughs> uh, you would cover the pot with the lid so it boils quicker and you wait. Alright, so once you open your package, you put this thing in here. Alright, so let's see what else is in here. 33 cents, remember that. 33 cents. You're gonna be full off 33 cents. This package of mysterious ingredients. I'm gonna check to see if it's the one with like onions in it or like... <laughs> like two little dry um, pieces of onion. Yeah. <laughs> if you get that, you're a winner. Oh. We have some pieces in here, so good. good. Good, We're well, gonna have that so. green accent. Alright, so... Let's get this ramen nice and soggy. <laughs> Alright, remember, this is a practical meal. You want a meal? Because you're so hungry, that's why you're eating ramen, come on. You're eating ramen at home. You're gonna want food pronto. So, um, let's go see what else is in the fridge. It's a typical fridge. There's nothing in it but juice and some eggs and some cold bread. Man, so you're gonna use some eggs. You have eggs in your fridge? I don't even have eggs in my fridge. Have fancy. Eggs. You're so fancy. So while the the, uh, the water is hot and boiling, you want to take your eggs and put a couple of eggs in there because you need the protein. One, two, because you're baller. You got plenty of eggs. You know it's going to taste good because they put a lot of delicious things that your brain loves in this thing. MSG. Don't don't put everything in it. Just Put a pinch. MSG kills, so don't use too much. All right, let's put some of this in here. Um, just that a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. That's like the whole thing. It's not the whole thing. That's like a little bit. See that green stuff? Those are your daily green vegetables. Green stuff is good for you. Is that the daily <laughs> serving of vegetables? <laughs> All right, I think we're we're almost done here. Remember, this only took a few minutes, and it's 33 cents, and just think about the money you're saving. Alright, let's just pour this in. The whole thing? Just all of it? Oh my gosh. Check out the protein. You didn't even need to go to this store to buy anything. This is what I'm presenting. Think about the money you're saving. Okay. You're gonna be happy. Your stomachs will be happy. Alright, your stomach's not gonna disapprove of this. <laughs> no, it's not. Maybe with the stuff you eat before, but it's not gonna be this. Okay, let's 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 bring it to the presentation table. Let's do it. So here's what we're gonna do. You guys are gonna choose which one you wanna eat, which one you guys think would taste the best. So we're gonna describe our dish one more time. Well, you saw how we made it, so based on how we made it, our, our ideologies and the end presentation, um, the one that you can taste the most through the camera, through the screen, Look, so I, gonna just reach out and grab one. I got, I got minced pork, garlic, green onions, sesame oil, eggs, oh, it's all in here. Everything cooked to its perfect specifications separately, specifically, and precisely and deliciously. So, like I said before, there's no name for it. It's just ramen, but there are things that you add to it to, to make it more enjoyable. If I had to describe it, I guess it's no less than perfection in a bowl. Don't be fooled by the colors, by <laughs> the extra accents. By the nutrition. The nutrition. By the nutrition. The eggs here. <laughs> eggs is the main Don't be fooled by the Don't be fooled by the taste. Don't be fooled by the craftsmanship. What? <laughs> How much money did you guys spend on that? I don't know. Too many. Enough because look you're worth this. it. Look at this. Don't look at that. Look at this. All right, this is practical. This is what you actually make. Think about the money you're saving. This is how much you're saving. <laughs> right here, all right? Right here, 20 bucks. Oh. This, you're eating away $20. Why would you eat away $20? You can earn interest and be a millionaire. Okay, so <laughs> this is up to you guys. Click on the one that you want to eat. You're eating ramen, come on. It's just, it's just ramen. See, you're not, uh, you're not respecting correction, food. Correction, it's just ramen. No, no, more than You're that. You're not respecting the food. You're just lazy. This is... The sum of the parts is greater than the whole. So pick it, guys. Just click on one. You know what? You, come on. 
could wait all day because even later in the day this will taste I great. I don't need to wait all day because I know you're going to just click this right now. Come for $3. You can this buy something on Xbox Party. It feels good. It's like mom used to make it.